Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 career for race 29, 36, possibly Kansas. Talladega, race 30. We'll see, I mean, most likely, because Talladega will probably be an easy win if I had to guess. But anyway, we got Talladega, and as you see, um, I'll do this so you can see it. It's basically Dale's last winning car. So, uh, let's do, wait, hold on, how can I, let's review it. It's basically Dale's last winning car with the red number on top. So we're gonna run in here. I think I ran this car. Uh, I think I ran this car last season or season one, but I'm, I don't really remember. But anyway, as far as team management is concerned, uh, we got an overhaul everything for two races. This uh, the body is gonna be built for one more race. So we'll definitely use that at Kansas. I think it about. I don't know. It's still in good condition. I want to save the, the I, want, I gotta use the best stuff for Talladega. Well, as far as tires, not really, because at Daytona and Talladega, you don't have to worry about tires, but drafting, you got to, so. I'll probably use the weaker, uh, the weaker chassis for that one, so. Uh, points, we're leading by a country mile, we're up by almost 800 points. And, uh, without further ado, let's jump into Talladega. I gave her chassis, we're gonna use the weakest one that we have. Uh, engines, we gotta go with the best one and body. Uh, we'll go with this, this one. We got car in a 75, not bad. Let's jump into the Taldegs. Right, so here we are at Taldega. Uh, here's the setup we're gonna use. We're just gonna jump straight into qualifying because we don't need to practice. Because all you're doing at Taldega is you're going full throw around the track. So here's the setup we're using. And uh, we're gonna jump into qualifying. And I'm gonna hire up so you guys can hear the game. And see where we start. Alright, so this first lap is not bad. Holy shit! And um, in 21 ignition, you'll have an option to travel all the sims. And look at that, in this game, you can turn them off, you can turn the mirror off, or you have an option to turn the mirror off. You can get full simulation experience on that alone. But anyway, off of four hand of the line. Pretty solid lap. We'll see who we start here. Hopefully, we start okay. Probably gonna be a pole nonetheless, or at least start towards the front. And. Another pole. No surprise. I think the race is probably going to do all right. So, we got guy by 10th over Try Hard Jr. Newman 8th is currently 2nd in the points, but... Anyways, let's jump into Talladega. Welcome to today's NASCAR Winston Cup Series event, the EA Sports 500, live on MRN from the Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama. We should be in for quite a show today, Barney. Let me sum it up for you all. 2.6 miles, 4 lanes, 190 miles an hour. Just doesn't get much better. Let's just hope these guys can stay out of the big one. I will, don't worry. The McDonald's car seems to always finish in the top 10. Oh yeah, to have an average finish in the top 10 for the season is mighty impressive. It can often be the difference that wins the championship. Oh, yeah. In 2002, Rusty Wallace had a streak of consecutive seasons with a victory stopped at 16. He and Ricky Rudd had tied for the longest win streak, but you know Rusty wanted to take it for himself. Now he just has to look at starting a new streak. Mm-hmm. 
Michael Waltrip joined DEI at the start of the 2001 season and got a win in his very first race for his new team. He followed that up with some very impressive runs at the restrictor plate tracks. He's always had a knack for drafting and with top-notch equipment, you'll be sure to see him up near the front. Oh, yeah. Alright, me and Tryhard Jr. on the front row. Let's get rolling at Talladega. Mm. Alright, we're on the way to Talladega. Dale Jr. on my outside is going to take the lead. And I can drive with Harvick because I'm right behind him. Well, I don't want Harvick to get ahead of me, so I'm going to try to use his draft. Try to let him get away. Should be able to catch him with the speed I have in my car, so I should be able to catch him. And yeah, I'll catch him back up, so... If I just can, he can do the side draft, or the allies, to get them up. I think Tony should I get to my inside. Yeah, he's on my oh, he's on my inside. But I am driving with Harvick. I am gonna have the straight line speed, so that's my advantage. And it looks like Junior's gonna lead the first lap, and lap later, I have caught these two. We're right there. Let's see if we can lead this thing. I will, probably gonna dominate. Oh, fellas gonna get underneath Harvick, but I might as well keep drafting. He wants to move up, I'll drive with Junior. I'm driving my son, and he's gonna move down to the bottom and help me, which is nice. He's now driving his father's car. And here we go for the lead! The basketball in the air, which is not ruling this game. But we got the lead! And it's just us four out here in this front pack, so... We're all gonna have to pit around lap six, if I had to guess. So anyway, I guess let's just relax and try to hang on to this lead. Caution's out! <laughs> Trouble in turn three! Probably the big one occur. The... Not the big... Oh well, yeah, the big one has occur. I was out front. I'm probably going to pit. I know it's kind of weird that I'm going to, I'm probably going to pin under this caution. I think we're still on lap four, but I, I, I might as well pit here. Wait, hold on, what lap, what lap are we on? Five, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll pit. Why not? Uh, we're going to get out. We'll pin take right side, we'll pin take, um, left side tires. And everybody's pinning, so that's nice. So I will be taking right side tires and down the next stop we'll take left side tires. Let's hope for a solid stop. They let everybody pit with me, so that's nice. Yeah, it looks like most of the leaders pitted. And solid stop! Okay, we're gonna have a big lead, but and again, yeah, it looks like everybody. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm still leading, so everybody pitted. And here we go! Still the leader. Bird's gonna try to take it on the high side. Hart's on the inside. So far, I'm hanging on to it. And gonna hang on to the lead. Hell yeah. I'll take that. And um, we'll probably pin around a lap uh, 16 or so. Or 14 or whatever. Our original plan was 14, but. Or 12, but looks like we'll go another two laps and we'll take left side tires. 
Well, looks like everybody's all bunched up, so... Looks like I'm gonna relax until we pit! Or we get in our caution, one or the two, but we'll see. It's at least in our lap. Another caution! Another caution! From Jeremy Mayfield! Actually, we might pit here under this caution, and after that we can make it to the end of the race, so... We might pit! I think we're on lap 11, so I could definitely pit again. And yeah, fuck it. We'll pit again. We'll take uh, left side tires so we can make it to the end of the race from here. So yeah. We're all staying out. That's weird. That is weird that they're staying out. But then again, we can make it to the end of the race from here, so I don't know why they're staying out, but I guess I'm good. I guess I'm not the smartest man on the planet, so. We'll see. I should make, we'll make it to the end of the race. I'm gonna be last, but that's okay, because they all still gotta stop. And here we go. I saw the debris, so that's another caution. So, we will definitely have bonus race time, that's for sure. Look at me doing the old, the old, uh, the old rule, but there's no going below the old line rule. Yeah, there's not a lot of highlights for this, so. Not bad. The last 17. This was, this, this was the end of the race. And I ended up winning, so the victory lane! Yes!
another win at Talladega. And we got three quarter million dollars. Hell yeah. Uh, we we're very close to being a, probably almost the richest man in the world, if I had to guess. I probably am, but, uh, let all, um, like 13 laps. So I let all but five. Uh, Johnny Benson led two, Try Hard Jr., and Terry Labonte all let a lap. And if you lead a lap, that's five bonus points. So, um, uh, yeah, not, not, not bad. Whoops. Not a bad result at all, so I guess bonus race time. Alright, bonus race time, and as you see on the screen, uh, we're going to be running a, a car that Dale Jr. ran in, I think it's 2006, if I remember. It's a throwback to Ralph Earnhardt, which was Dale Sr.'s father. So, he passed away in 1973 due to a heart attack, but he was a good racer. And I thought, why not... If I can master Kansas, I gotta race as Ralph Earnhardt. So, a race as him, a race as car, maybe get some good luck. Who knows? But as far as the management is concerned, um, I think one race for him to be repaired or overhaul. But we got that body, so we'll definitely use that for Kansas. And no shopping business because I'm not getting more upgrades. Because yeah, and you can probably tell why because of the points. I'm up by a country mile, so. I already see my progress, so I'm not going to lose this race, so we'll jump into it. Uh, I'm going to use the best chassis possible, the best tire wear. Uh, this is still the best one, surprisingly, so we'll go with that. And body, we're going to use the best one, because we're going to need it, so. Um, yeah, well, fuck it, okay. Still car in 75, so not bad, so let's jump, oh, let's not sim, let's jump right into Kansas. Alright, so here's the car set we're going to use for today's race. Again, nothing really changed the same set we used last time. I was very close to winning here last time, but we got better stuff this time, so I should be able to win here, but good if you practice laps, so we'll jump into qualifying. I was tied off of a four. Turn four, hang to the finish line. Almost got on the wall before. Gonna nail it this time. And this could be a better lap. Looks like you'll lead them to the start. All right, another pull. All right, not bad. Another pull. Guy by two tenths over Ryan Newman. Who's second, so. All right, well, let's see if I can finally win at this track. Hello and welcome to the Kansas Speedway for the running of the Banquet 400. What a great facility this is, Barney. What do you think of this track? This track is a one and a half mile trioval like Chicagoland and Las Vegas. Most of these drivers are still learning things about this track. We should see quite a show. The McDonald's car is our NASCAR Winston Cup points leader coming into this race. You know, if I was him, I wouldn't even think about the points. I'd just try to stay focused on getting the best finish I can. After all, consistency is what wins championships. Oh, yeah. McMurray moved up to Winston Cup after having an impressive year in the Bush Series in 2002. He picked up a couple of wins and finished six in the points last year. Plus, he did an admirable job filling in for Sterling Marlin in some cup runs. And won a cup race. Hermie Sadler is having some trouble in the points this year. And how frustrating that must be. You're working just as hard as everyone else. Yet you just can't seem to finish well on race days to gain the valuable points you need. These guys need a good finish just to regain their confidence as a team. All right, here we go with Kansas. Oh, 
All right, me and Ryan Newman on the front row. Let's see if I can finally win here. Like I said, the ABA are really top here. Oh, almost, almost got into, almost got into Newman. But like I said, the AI are really hard to strike and that's how I never won here. I would like to hopefully win here. I came close to winning here last season, so let's see if I can finally win here. But most importantly, I'm going to lead a lap to get those points, so that's poor. That's very important. Like I said, I'm bringing the best. I bring the best chance into this track because I feel that's gonna be my best chance to finally win at this track. So, like I said, this is one of the, this is one of the tougher tracks for the AI. So, hopefully, I can win here. It's, I don't know. I came close last time. I ended up third, so I should be able to win here this time. But I'm gonna go into sweat mode here. Oh, I had down the back stretch, gonna fit this time, gonna go for all four tires, nothing's really happened, just gotta hold the bottom here in three and four. I've been baby in the corners, and here I come down pit road. Tony's pin with me, so hopefully he doesn't plow me in the ass, and he's gonna hit me. Alright, thanks Tony! I'm running! Of course, he just has to plow me in the ass! He just got to do it! And now we got pigs, I lost all those spots. Well, only the cooks give me all those spots back. Sorry! Alright, so for a solid stop. We need a solid stop to gain most of those spots back. That's yeah, gonna be a solid stop, of course. But I think I gained about a few spots, so here we go! Hope for a solid restart. Most of the field stayed out that time, so there will be a lot of cars in front of us. Yeah, these guys still got a pit. So we gotta be careful because nothing the car's up here didn't pit. Oh, I thought I was gonna get loud. Oh, sorry, Junior! Oh, I'll help me get rid of that. And now I gotta get back up there. But they like to go below the apron and make some passes. Now we gotta baby this car a little bit, since now I'm back here. But they gave me the whole bomb lane! They gave me the whole bomb lane, I appreciate it, so... Looks like we're better on four tires, but Jay, of course, gonna block me, be a block, you pants. Number five, top five. But I'm gonna get by nonetheless, because I got a fast enough car. Okay, I'll go below the apron again and make the pass. Number four, he's looking to pass. Ooh, okay. Maybe, okay, another spot gain. There's Gordon up here. Probably gonna be another spot. It's gonna be a block, you pants. The two car is outside. I'm, on the, I'm on the inside, three wide. Probably for a top five spot. And I'm gonna, I'm, all right, I nail turn three. And I gain another spot on Grandpa in his alternating car. He probably got on the wall a bit, but looks like the top four are all up here. And right now I'm up towards the front, I and mean, I'm not surprised I'm this fast, so... It looks like I'm better on new tires than the air I'm better on old tires, so... But I have caught them! Not surprised, to see how fast this car is. I'm not surprised I gained this fast. They gave it a whole bottom lane, three wide for the lead! Jeff, Jeff Bird gave me the bottom lane, and I'm gonna take it! The six to go, I got the lead back! I had to slide the most slabs, so hell yeah, beautiful scenes. And 
Let's relax. They're all pinned behind me. What? What is this? How can they pin the caution? That's my question. Why do they all stay out? Why do they stay out? That's my question. Why, why didn't they pin the caution? That is my question. I don't know why they stay out for that long, but... We'll, we'll see if more cars pin. Probably not, but... And... Yeah, they're pinning! Why? Why did they pin the caution? That is dumb on their part. I don't know why, but... We got a few laps to go. I can make it. I don't know why they didn't pay under the caution. Like the caution might got wrecked, but looks like I'm gonna pull a Harvick and pull spin win. Cause we got a couple laps left for Kansas to try to get my first win here. After that, I'll conquer this. After this, I gotta conquer Rockingham, which I got a scheme plan for that one. So I can be this one, but. Yeah, uh, after this, I gotta conquer Rockingham, because I was, I'm close a thousand times to get a win at Rockingham, but this time around, since I got better stuff, I'm gonna win there, so I'm coming off of four to get the white flag. One more lap to go in Kansas. Alright, heading down the back stretch. Let's see if I can finally win here! Finally, I'm gonna win Kansas! Yes! Only three, third times to charm! Finally, I won here! The drivers didn't spend much time behind that Pontiac pace car today. Well, I'd say the fans would probably have liked to see more excitement. I'm sure the drivers, on the other hand, were happy about the low number of caution flags. The McDonald's car comes away with a win. All the hard work this week has just paid off for that team. That was an awesome win. After a spin, win! I pulled the Kevin Harvick spin, win! And there's me, yeah, I fought them all before, but most importantly, I got another win, but let's go to victory lane. Rockingham, one of the harder track, another hard track in the game. So I conquered this track. Now I gotta conquer Rockingham, which is the other track. I gotta conquer that one. And I said new fast lap. Well, but seven laps. Yeah, seven. Uh, Tony Stewart left five. A try hard led the other two. Um. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's. I'll see you all in the race shop. All right, next part will be Charlotte, which is probably going to be an easy win. Then after that, I think it's Martinsville. So uh, that'll be in the next part. Uh, yep, Martinsville. And after that, it'll be Atlanta and Phoenix. And then we'll see if I can finally win at this track and then Homestead to end the season. So, um, yeah, we'll probably do those two in, the, in, the, in one part. So next will be Charlotte and Martinsville, but let's see what we got in the race shop. Uh, team management, Raj, 
Um, yeah, nothing really to overhaul, because they're all still really good, so probably not going to overhaul anything. Yeah, here they are, so... For Barnesville, I'm going to use the week to stuff, so... Yeah, nothing really to prepare, because they're all still really good. Probably this one might need some overhauling, but we'll overhaul this one. It's really low. And then... Um, yeah, everything's still really good, so no need to overhaul that, so... We're gonna overhaul the chassis for two races. Then... Check the points. And dominating by a country mile, so... We'll see if I can win the title by a thousand points. I think I will, but we'll see if I can win it. And, uh... Yeah, without further ado, I'm going to wrap this part up. Next part will be Charlotte, which is probably going to be an easy win. And then Martinsville, which will probably be a lot of chaos, because it's a short track. So, like I said, for the short tracks, I'm going to use the weakest stuff. So, I think, I think it's the last short track of the season, I'm pretty sure. We'll, we'll argue that Rockingham and Phoenix, but those are like intermediates. But it's like the last half mile short track of my career, so on NASCAR Thunder 2004. So we'll probably win. Uh, I remember Mar. I still remember that first race of Martinsville because I still can't believe how I won that. But we'll see if I can win my last race of Martinsville in the next part. So anyway, uh, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed this. I will see you all at Lowe's in Martinsville. And as always. Have a good day, everyone, and take care.